there has been an important turning point in the Ripple SEC lawsuit. This has had a major impact on Ripple XRP prices as well. How is XRP going to perform through these trying times? Stay tuned with us and find out. But first, we are giving away 25 XRP coins towards the end of the month to a random subscriber to help them start their XRP journey. To enter the giveaway all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel and comment your thoughts on XRP in the comments section. Welcome XRP Army! Let us grow the XRP Lab community by pressing the like button and subscribing to the channel. Lately XRP has been experiencing a low, when compared to its performance in the previous week. On September 9th, the XRP prices stalled out at $1.14. FX Street analysts observed that the price charts of XRP indicate a strong bounce in its composite index. This trend, they noted, could be a signal of an incoming downward push. To put XRP back into its bullish track, XRP bulls will have to push the floor prices up to $1.22. On September 10, XRP did manage to achieve this high. However, the prices did not go up from there as expected. It kept declining to the previous day's prices and then fell through the support at $1.09. At the time of making this video, XRP was at $1.069. In the last 24 hours the price of XRP and that of other altcoins like Cardano and Dogecoin have dipped. XRP went down by 4.59% in this time period. Recent events concerning the Ripple SEC lawsuit have made XRP one of the most vulnerable coins to any disruption in the crypto market. The downward slide in the price of XRP created a panic among its investors who set out on a selling off frenzy instead of holding onto it. Right now, what is influencing XRP's prices is the most recent development in the Ripple SEC lawsuit. The SEC filed a letter in opposition to Ripple's motion that demanded the Securities and Exchange Commission to provide clear answers to its questions. In other words, the SEC straight up refused to provide clarity to Ripple's questions. The SEC put forward the argument that Ripple waited until the end of the fact discovery period to inform the SEC that they considered the responses to be not sufficient. This is more than seven weeks after receiving the SEC's first responses to their queries. The SEC also claimed that it has responded to five important inquiries, met and conferred with Ripple's representatives and asked them to pinpoint what specific information they still wanted. Ripple allegedly refused this and went on to file the motion less than three hours before fact discovery closed. The SEC representatives even went on to say in the letter, dot the SEC is not required to answer the interrogatories in a way that adopts, Ripple's, incorrect reading of the law. The SEC called for its resolution at the summary judgment headed by Judge Torres, and not on a motion that demands answers to Ripple's queries. Ripple mainly questioned the SEC's theory of how the Howey test applies to all of its transactions in XRP over the last eight years. And in this period of time, the SEC never provided any clarity over XRP. SEC officials made many speeches and appeared in many interviews in which they were very clear on the classification of Bitcoin and Ether. But they were surprisingly vague on XRP. Ripple has also been trying to figure out why the SEC is not targeting Bitcoin and Ether as well. Like XRP, BTC and ETH are decentralized currencies. Ripple has not conducted an initial coin offering upon launch like Ethereum did. Ripple's claims in the court records show that it has never held an ICO, never offered future tokens to raise money, and has no contracts with the vast majority of XRP holders. The creator of the XRP ledger filed its motion to compel slightly after there was an extensive telephone conference on August 31st to settle the privilege dispute. The judge however was unhappy with the SEC's arguments. This resulted in an order for an in-camera review of the documents of which the SEC claims privilege. The SEC argued that its internal documents, which include the agency's discussions over the nature of XRP and ETH, are protected by deliberative process privilege. This claim has already been dismissed before by the judge two times. The court considered these documents to be relevant to Ripple's fair notice defense. In the motion Ripple filed against SEC, they have stated that the SEC's evasive responses must be treated as a failure to disclose, answer, or respond. This has put further pressure on the SEC which has been clearly evasive with regard to the deliberative process. The motion highlights how the SEC has evaded Ripple's inquiries. Last month, the SEC, Ripple Labs, and the individual defendants, had filed a joint motion requesting an extension for the deadline of the fact discovery period. The motion asks the court to permit the SEC to conduct depositions of the chief executives of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson after the August 31st fact discovery deadline. The motion states that, the unexpected illness of an attorney for one of the parties who was integral to the Larson deposition, 
and the intervening vacation schedules of other attorneys, the parties will not be able to reasonably complete the previously scheduled depositions of Garlinghouse and Larson before August 31st. Along with this, there are the intervening vacations of other attorneys. On August 31st, the SEC was bound to wind up their fact discovery on Ripple. On October 15th, the SEC's deadline to conduct expert discovery would have come to a close. This lawsuit agenda was updated on the 27th of August, thus dragging the case on for longer. The expert discovery date would be moved from October 15, 2021 to November 12, 2021. Any kind of settlement would happen only after the fact discovery is done, but it is likely that this would only take place after the expert discovery deadline on November 12. Attorney James K. Phelan, after observing these developments in the case commented, in my experience, anyone who thinks this case is settling anytime soon should reconsider. Now the SEC is going after Uniswap to detect whether any deceptive marketing practices are taking place. This resulted in the falling prices of Uniswap. To anyone who has been following the lawsuit closely, it's quite clear why the SEC is making this move. The SEC is now trying to move the spotlight from the Ripple lawsuit towards another high-profile case, because the SEC's standing on the ongoing lawsuit has weakened considerably. Former SEC Chair William Hinman previously worked for the firm Simpson Thacker which majorly invests in Bitcoin and Ethereum, and has been receiving millions of dollars from his previous employer. Hinman's deposition was a crucial event because he had given a speech in June 2018, which gathered a lot of criticism. This speech still appears on the SEC website and in it Hinman declares that Ethereum's digital token Ether is not a security despite having been launched in an initial coin offering in 2014. As XRP investors, we need to keep faith in the crypto and continue to hold onto XRP, instead of indulging in the sell-off frenzy. Ripple Labs is a leading innovator in the field of blockchain technology. It has not limited itself to just the cryptocurrency aspect of its services and has more institutional adoption and relevance in the world of macro finance. The Bank of International Settlements had famously published a report on the declining use of banks for cross-border payments. While this is mainly because of the emergence of fintechs such as TransferWise, it also points to the fact that people are now more likely to use cryptocurrencies such as XRP. Ripple had already made major strides in its market in Southeast Asia and in the Asia-Pacific region in general after partnering up with fintech companies like Novati and Tranglo that facilitate cross-border and remittance payments earlier this year. XRP jumped 19% following the announcement of its first-ever ODL service implementation in Japan. The future is indeed bright for Ripple and XRP. Ripple price started in 2021 at 22 cents. These days, Ripple is trading at above a dollar, so the price has already increased by 457% from the beginning of the year. The forecasted Ripple price according to CoinPriceForecast.com at the end of 2021 is $2.35, which would mean a 90% rise from today's price. In the first half of 2022, the Ripple price will climb to $2.68 and in the second half, the price would add 80 cents. By the end of the year 2022, XRP would close at $3.48, which is 181% more than the current price. The website forecasts that there is a high probability of XRP hitting $5 at least by the year 2025. Do you invest in XRP? Let us know. If you would like to know more about XRP, we have got two more videos waiting for you on the end screen to check out. Make sure to subscribe to us and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching till the end. See you in the next video. Before heading out, kindly note that prices of cryptocurrencies frequently change, so by the time you watch this video, it might have changed to a whole new value. The information provided in this video does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other sort of advice, and you should not treat any of the content as such. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered as financial advice. Do conduct your own due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions.